Don't know why I felt the need to make that a little more extra awkward this morning. Hello. How are you guys? Got through the beginning of the week. Way to go. We got a little further to go. But you got this. I got this too. We can do it. Was the reverb bothering you? I can just leave it on. <laughs> oh, oh, thank you, TMK. Thank you. Uh, welcome in, Jack and Guard, uh, Tripwire, Joe, Jojo Gaming. Y'all have a beer, please? I got you. And my little bar under here. I feel like this would be like if I had a bar and you guys were sitting at it. I feel like this would be a good Joe's Bar song. Just that, ah, uh, long day, here you go. I'll pass it just out of the shot so it's believable. That one's on me, because it's cool here at Joe's Bar. We're all friends at Joe's Bar. Hey, Jack. <laughs> X-Saving, Cathedora, Pencils. A stretchy beard, hello. Jack Walker, La Roca. It's nice to see everybody. I had a really nice morning, pretty easy going. I forced myself up to go for that dang run. It's really hard motivating myself to run lately as it's getting so hot in Nashville. So I have to keep up getting up earlier. My goal, I hope I can, I don't hope I can do it. I'm trying to change my schedule so that I try to get up at 7. I would love it if I'd get up at 6.45. That just seems like a beautiful time where I'd love to get up. Keep. I've stuck at 8. Um, I could do night runs, but I feel like uh, I love starting my day off with it. Like I feel like it puts me in a mindset where I'm more prepared to like make the best of each day. Ah, I gotta fix how I think about things. I talked to my mom about this. I need to chill on not trying to make the best of each day. I should just try and have a day sometimes. <laughs> um, my mom was talking to me uh, since I was having a bit of a hard weekend. She talked me through a hard day. Yeah, she's the best mom ever. And... She was just like, I wish you could just like not do some things so seriously all the time. Like just, just like sit for a little while. I'm like, that's hard. I don't want to do that. She's like, but I think you should. <laughs> I think uh, you have to. So anyway, I'm working on a bit of that lifestyle shift and mental shift to just try and be a little happier, I guess, to work on some anxiety things. But I got that run done, and then I ate a lot, and I did violin warm-ups and vocal warm-ups for about 45 minutes. So I'm feeling really prepared to play. My warm-ups felt good today. Um, there's one exercise that my teacher gave me that I have to be really hard on myself because I just rush through it because I don't like it. <laughs> but the whole point is to do it really slow. So I wasted like five minutes doing it incorrectly. I was like, oh, what am I... Joe, just do it 30 seconds at least right. So then you can show her you got better. Anyway. Anyone have anything that they want to share? Anything they've been up to? There's been some cool travel stories in Discord with like handicappers in Italy right now and he met up with some 71 year old like wonderful Italian man who's like taking him around and they're just having a great time. Uh, the pictures are really lovely and Hoagie Man has been doing some wonderful outdoor shots. 
Same old, same old. Hey, there's nothing wrong with the same old, same old, just like I was saying earlier. How I'm making a goal lately to just have a day sometimes instead of having an effective day. Tech issues all day in work? Ooh, that's not fun. That was fun. Oh, never mind. You said it was fun. Sorry. I shouldn't have jumped to conclusions. Please note the sarcasm in the- Oh, oh, well now- Oh my gosh. This is awkward. <laughs> make up your mind. <laughs> Sorry, you did make up your mind. I just- Oh. Hmm. For Blocka, I'm actually doing pretty well. Um, I was very open with you guys and talked about how I had a bit of a mental health crash Saturday and Sunday, Saturday evening and all day Sunday. I was just not okay. Like I was okay in like the big sense, you know what I mean? But oh, oh, it was bad. I called my mom like multiple times throughout the day, just, <laughs> but it did help to talk about how I was feeling and I'm glad I got it out of my system. And I do feel ready to kind of just move forward. I'm seeing uh, my sister and my nephews this weekend and my parents. We're all meeting up in New York. Um, I got my dad such a cool Father's Day gift and I feel like such a proud daughter because I think he's really gonna like it, I hope. My dad can be hard to buy presents for. Do you guys have that member of the family where like, or a friend or something where no matter what, they'll open their present and they'll always be like, oh, <laughs> you know, it's never like, oh, wow, thank you. It's like, oh, okay, okay, cool, thank you. <laughs> That's been like every gift ever I've given my dad. <sighs> Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm missing pencils this time, but I've been talking about how I really want to come up to New York at some point this year. Me and pencils are going to try and see some like Broadway musicals because I miss musicals. <laughs> and it'd be nice to just be in a big city again. Nashville's very spread out, so. Oh, you're, av oh, you're avoiding me. Okay. Love that. I think. <laughs> I think I am that person with respect to getting presents. Do you have like a catchphrase you say, Doc? Like, you always have to make the sound first. Ah, oh. and then you like hold it up for some reason. <laughs> oh. Thank you. Um, where are you going somewhere special, Pencil? Somewhere new? at my parents' house in Wiltshire. It's, am I saying that correctly? Uh, it's very relaxing, they're not here. <laughs> Is it on a like nice big property or something where you can just like enjoy being outside? Altruz, it's nice to see you again. Yeah, I feel like each day I've been feeling a little more like myself. Um, I'm pushing myself. I got up early and I went for a run and had a big breakfast and just trying to make sure at the bare minimum I just take care of myself and hopefully everything else will kind of fall into place after that, right? But I'm feeling pretty good. How are you feeling? Both new and special. Family stuff's very cool. Hey, Red is me. How are you doing today? I'm doing pretty okay. Had a bit of a rough weekend, but I'm bouncing back. I'm getting back into it. Let's do some violin. What's a paddock? Is a paddock like a... Like a porch? Yes! Please get... Get pictures of your... Of your friends. Yes, Wakeford, let me get your cup over here, just under my bar. Slide it, and there you go. How are you today? Oh, <laughs> I 
<laughs> a big grassy area. Less than a field, more than a garden. Okay. I think it's okay, Jove. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that outburst of violence. I hope I didn't scare anybody. Fast don't lie. What's up? I was thinking when I saw that alert go up, I was like, man, fast don't lie is one of the names I feel like that's been in my chat the longest. And sure enough, 20 months. Thank you so, so much for the ongoing support and just for giving me a place to do my favorite thing in the world four days a week and you know that goes for all of you guys thank you um i really i think about it constantly almost probably a little too much i'm just like is this real do i really get to play violin every day it's like my job officially so thank you thank you for your support along the way too hey i got you guys as much as I can. I know you, you know, you obviously know a bit more about me than I do about you, but uh, I, I hope you know that I do really want the best for you guys and I hope everyone's doing okay. Thank you, Ren. I think about you constantly. Especially, uh, uh, I do watch my fair share of Twitch streams on the pot. We all do, okay? <laughs> I'll just trim this part out of the vlog of the vod. It'll be fine. Nah, it stays. It's authentic. Oh, I'm looking at my warm-ups that I kind of breezed through this morning. On the pot. On the pot. Cheerio. <laughs> Thank you, Boba Tea. I feel very, very supported. Thank you. <laughs> uh, if you guys are curious about my warm-ups and what they look like, um, I started taking violin lessons again recently. We actually had my teacher come to chat yesterday, and my, uh, my command to show her channel didn't work and I was very, very alarmed that she was gonna cut all ties with me. But she sent me a message later and she was nice, so we're good. Anyway, um, yay, it works. Okay, so a lot of you guys um, might remember as Storyoni Girl. She was on Twitch for a while, but she's moved over uh, to YouTube and she's amazing. Like I've 
I've always really admired her playing and her tone and technique and, and all of that. So I reached out to her and was like, hey, are you accepting students? And if so, can I be one of them? And uh, she said yes. And it's been great. She, you know, was very like straightforward with me with what do I want to accomplish and kind of if I'm okay with diving into really nitpicky stuff. And I'm like, oh, yes, I live for it. So she's delivered on uh, the very structured stuff. And I do see that it's uh, helping me quite a bit. What I need to focus on this week the most, I think, is my shifting exercises. And these are the ones I tend to try and rush through, which defeats the whole purpose. She said her first year at Yale, she did like only shifting and one crates or exercise, which I've showed you before, which is very elementary, but I feel like that's not the right word for it because it's meant to be kept up throughout your training. You know, it's introduced in the elementary stages, but you got to keep it up. So, I've done very well with my crates, sir. Now I gotta work on shifting. And what I gotta do is when you shift, teacher Joe moment, you have to start in first position. First position is the very, you know, it's the lowest area on the neck that you play. It's the first place that you play, first position. And as you go up higher, it will go up as you go, second position, third, fourth, etc. So when you shift, you want to um, let go of your pressure on the string, but keep that contact and slide it up. But since you're not pressing it, you get this sound. It's kind of like, it sounds like, like a ghost crying or something. So then what you do is you got to plant it down only when you feel confident that you are about to land in the correct spot. So I'm going to try and land correctly in third position. So you can hear that little kind of ghost cry. And then that first finger, I'm going to use as a marker to try and get my other fingers in tune. So you can hear that little like hiccup in there, bum, bum, bum. That's my first finger deciding when I'm landing in third position and then using it as a marker from which to um, accurately get my other fingers in tune. And there are lots of different places and ways you can shift on the violin. There are this many. Ah, oh, it keeps going! Oh. <laughs> so, I've been picking a page and just running through it every single day. I'm still in the first, like, three pages because I don't want to over, you know, try to get too much information in too fast. And I'm trying to focus on the most common shifts as well. First to third is by far the most common shift uh, and third to fifth. You might hear some violins be like, I don't like second position because it's, it's kind of awkward, honestly. You get used to it as you go. Second and fourth are less awkward. Uh, first, third, and fifth are a little more comfortable. And that's what I've been working on. So I do that. I try to do that for at least 15 minutes a day. 
of just shifts and then, you know, move on to the other stuff. But I can see it's getting better. Um, it's helped my intonation quite a bit and it's helped my sense of control in the violin. I feel now when I play a note, like I, I know what's gonna come out before I move the bow, uh, which is ideal. A lot of the time before I kind of just be like, we'll see what happens. Um, it's it's just a lot of ear training for Jove, which, uh, you know, I definitely believe can be taught just as easily as, as all the things you've been taught, like how to read and, you know, and talk. I've decided that I, once I get back from my break, I'm going to settle down with it and finish writing my lesson plan on the airplane. But I'm going to do my first uh, official Joe teacher Joe section and in the discord I'm going to put together a little package that is completely optional but if people wanted to try and follow along with my lessons at home you know it's just like a I'm essentially getting a really basic cheap piano because piano you can see music theory really easily um, so I'm just finding basic keyboards and telling you the pros and cons of them. Uh, and honestly, you can go on Craigslist and just search for a keyboard and probably find one for like 50 bucks. Um, but you don't even need the piano to follow the lessons. It's just a bit easier to play the things I'm saying and hear it yourself so your ears memorize it. And I was thinking of putting a little baton in there for conducting, because conducting is very important for learning things by ear. And it's just fun. You can act like you're in, like, the Harry Potter universe because you have your own little wand. How is that not super fun? And I can teach you how to conduct and, therefore, how to figure out rhythms from pieces that you hear on the radio and then be able to play them by ear is my hope. So that's my goal. I kind of want to do... um an unravel track. Hey, Ben the Royal. Oh, we got royalty in chat. It's an honor. My liege. I don't know what liege means. I hope it's a, I hope it's a nice thing. I'm just getting started today, but I'm going to try and do some improv over a track from the game Unravel, which I played over on the game channel. Hey, one of you might be it right now. I need one more follower to get 900. Who wants to be lucky 900? Oh my god. No pressure. I can't believe that there's that many followers there anyway. It's a lord. Oh, for a leash? My lord. When you start conducting music, that's another level. It's easier than you think. And, uh, you know... I've showed you guys before, but I write out all my music myself by ear, and all I needed to do that was to know how to conduct so I could see where the beats were, and then a basic keyboard. So those were going to be the two things I was going to keep in my teacher package that I was going to suggest. I'm not sponsored. I'm just going to pick cheap things on Amazon. And some manuscript paper. Manuscript paper is... a uh, you know, what you write sheet music out on. Anyway, let's do some improv. Thank you, Leo, for the follow, by the way, you sweet angel. I love you. Everyone got their beer, tea, or coffee? Everyone good? All right. Then let's play some music.
That was fun. Noki! Thank you so much for 17 months of subs. Uh, sincerely, that's, that's incredible. Thank you so much. And uh, for both you, as well as Fast Don't Lie, since you both subbed, you both get priority requests if that's something you're interested in. Um, so I'll just put the song list in chat if you want to look it over. I'm going to do one more of uh, the Unravel tracks to just improv on. I'm feeling, feeling comfortable doing it. I feel like my reverb sounds so much different. What did I do? I listen to the soundtrack I feel like there's more things I notice in the back there's kind of like an accordion or an, like a toy organ sound uh, for Amectastic yep it's uh, the Unraveled soundtrack, which I just finished, finally. It took me forever. I just finished on uh, my second channel, Joe Doesn't Play Violin, where I do not play violin, but I do play video games. And I've assembled furniture once on there before. It's a, with the vague category of Joe Doesn't Play Violin, it leaves a beautiful world of possibility. <laughs> The um, next game we're gonna play over there is gonna be Hollow Knight, which I'm really excited about. I'm trying to decide if I'm gonna try and film my next YouTube video tonight. I kind of, I might just play Hollow Knight um, and just make sure my recording is really done done. I got some very valuable feedback, thank you pencils, on the audio for my next YouTube video 
and uh, I'm looking forward to it. I'm a little nervous. It's uh, it's. Oh, I think I hear that lawn people are here. I have like the tiniest lawn in the world though, so it shouldn't be that long. Let me drown that out. This is a very, uh, it's a very raw performance. It's, it's more of a softer, uh, emotional one. So I'm a little nervous and I'm really overthinking it. It took me three days, three, days of attempts to try and get my vocals done and I finally feel like they're okay but since it's such a vulnerable piece it was so hard for me to record my vocals I was just overthinking it like crazy um, but I feel like I grew a lot in the process and I think that this song is helping me kind of close a chapter on a couple difficult things in in my head um, for Sally thank you that means so much to me thank you um, you guys are right I'm I've I've grown so much here on twitch and I never thought it would happen and I'm so so grateful and lucky I know that um, but I know at this stage, if I want this channel to continue to grow, I gotta push myself and try and get more recordings done, even though it makes me very uncomfortable. I love playing live. Uh, I hate recording myself. I am just brutal on myself. It makes me cry every time, every single time. And I'm so embarrassed to be that transparent, but it just, I, I, I'm so hard on myself when I hear myself back. But I want to get over it because on top of knowing it's what I need to do to grow the channel, you guys have actually been sweet and kind enough to ask me. Like, I, I saw someone post in the Discord, can you please put up more on the YouTube channel? And I... Not to make this person feel bad, I, I'm grateful for this person, but it made me very emotional because I was like, what am I doing? I have to get over this fear. Like, I have to just do this. Like, stop it, Joe. <laughs> just freaking, just put it out there. I've learned over nine hours of material for this channel and I gotta start being brave and put myself out there. Um, oh, sci-fi Bob, you've unleashed the Franks, go be free. Um, thank you so much, sci-fi Bob. That was super generous for five gifted subs. I really appreciate you. I'm determined, you guys. I'm going to keep going ridiculous. I'm going to keep, keep trying. The main reason I don't want to film it tonight, selfishly, is I got a pimple right there. And I don't want that immortalized on camera on YouTube. Oh, but I really wanted to film it and edit it before Friday. Uh. <laughs> I don't know. Macaroni. Uh, welcome. <laughs> Fix it in post. Every moving shot. Oh my god, that would be a nightmare. If I had someone to help me film, I think that would be more possible. Right now I'm doing everything on my own. Like I record myself, I film myself, and I edit it myself. And who knows, in the future I might, you know, I might have someone to help me. I've asked a couple friends, like Andrew, for example. I was like, if I, like, what would be your half day rate? Like, what would I pay you? And, you know, at first he was just like, I'd just do it. And I'm like, no, I'm... We're, you know, I'm a freelancer and I know the importance of, of being paid for your work. And it's something I'm very passionate about is, you know, I, I don't think people mean it on purpose, but a lot of people will kind of be like, hey, can you just like do this show for me? Or can you do this recording? And uh, 
a lot of time, not a lot of times, not at this level in my career, but in the beginning, it was a lot of kind of like, you know, like, oh, I was kind of hoping you would just do it. And it's like, but, but no, I, I put in like five hours of work learning this stuff and then five hours at the venue and I got to drive two hours total to get there. That's like a whole day. <laughs> Please. Please, can I just have like 50 bucks or something? So um, I'm very, very passionate about making sure I support fellow freelancers and also small businesses I like, which is why, you know, the past two weeks, if I go to a venue I like or a, sh a store, I buy their T-shirts and and they're cute, you know? Like, this is where I get my violins fixed and my strings and all that stuff. And I love this place. So, yeah, I'll buy, I'll spend 15 bucks on a friggin' shirt. And then it's more personal, too. This is uh, the, one of the venues I played this past weekend that's honestly kind of like a second home to me. And it has a little rock and roll screaming kitty cat on it. That's fun. I'll wear that. Hell yeah. Uh, that was a bit of a tangent. What else is new? <laughs> but you never know. Like uh, when quarantine first hit, Jillian, one of my other wonderful friends, I saw her come to rehearsal with like this really cool looking hat. And I saw that it was a hat from a sandwich shop called Mitchell's Deli. She's like, yeah, I just wanted to like now that restaurants and the places I like can't serve people inside I want to support them and I was like that's so awesome so I did a google of radio stations I liked and little things like that I feel like I'm talking about myself like I did something so wonderful like chill sorry I don't think I'm doing God's work or anything just a little thing it's fun You might be able to get one online for B-Dime. I know the guy, I know the guy's in charge of the place, so maybe I could hook you up. Look at how wonderful I am. I bought a t-shirt. <laughs> um, this fantastic remix, by the way, is done by one of my favorite YouTube finds, a Juke Remix. I reached out to him and he was so lovely. Um, I was just asking if I could play over his tracks on YouTube and he was so nice. So I highly recommend I play over a couple of his, um, a couple of his arrangements. Why don't I just do like a little pocket of Juke remix music? So I'll do Kakariko Village, uh, followed by Zelda's Lullaby and then Windfall Island is, I, I believe all three of them are his remixes that I play over. Hello, I'm Bite. Hello. I'm Joe. How are you doing today? I'm good.
do a volume check. Uh, I messed with my settings, which I shouldn't have done. Think about your shifting exercise. One more time. This is mostly my headphones that I'm adjusting. My headphones were kind of quiet. Let's see. E flat major. Thank you so much. Thank you, my apologies. Thank you so much for a resub. Um, and Epic, oh my God, thank you so much for 10 gifted subs. That was super, super epic. I mean, the blues were released. Um, I think you already know this, but you know, if, if you want a song, uh, please let me know. And all these follows, you guys, there's been a bunch of new ones. One of you guys might be I'm so close to 29,000 followers. One of you might be the 29th thousandth. I think I might need a couple more. Oh, we need six more. Ooh, Elemental uh, and Dience and for Dwayne. Thank you very much for the followers. I really appreciate you. Um, ben, thank you for a sub, a brand spanking new sub. Thank you so much. Uh, Beta, thank you. Thank you very much. Jove, did he do it? Jove. Always that conductor of the hype train. Always. My trusted conductor. Um, thank you guys so much. Ben, you also get a priority request if, if that's something you'd like. I do see that we have Life on Mars for Epic. I'd be happy to play that for you. Is it okay if I do my Juke Remix songs first? Um, I can do them really quick. Um, thank you, Ben. Thank you, everybody. Thank you for kicking off a hype train and just again, I'm, I'm, uh, you guys are making me so happy. <laughs> thank you, Matt. Thank you for 200 bits. Thank you. Unfortunately, that is 300 bits short of the bit minimum for a priority request, Matt. Now I know you were my first mod ever, but I just can't make exceptions. There, but it's really unfortunate. Hate to buckle down on you. I don't know why that's the voice I'm doing for that. Jeez. Zelda's lullaby.
Thank you guys so much. Oh my goodness. <laughs> also, I love, um, thank you for the follow, Harry. I love how it's spelled Harry, like not, um, like, like hair and not as the name Harry. It's, it's funny. I like it. Uh, Ray, thank you for 100 bits. Oh my god, so many people are participating in this hype train. Thank you. A uh, Yale for a resub and Jesse for a full year of subs. Thank you both of you so much. Um, each of you gets priority requests if that's something you're interested in. And and again, just thank you. Um, I'm going to do an acoustic run of this real quick. I do, if I don't feel like I played a piece as well as I could, I'll play it without the music behind it to make sure I fix mistakes. He is, you know, I, I just want to become a better player. So I hope you enjoy and it's not too monotonous. I just want to fix it if I can. Okay. Ray, thank you. a little flat. a little bit better the things that I make mistakes on luckily are kind of consistent which is a good thing is that means I just have to say the same correction in the back of my head over and over thank you guys everybody so much for the hype train I really appreciate it uh Ray thank you so much you were coming in hard at the end trying to up that level I saw you I appreciate you um thank you so much you gave 400 bits I technically have a 500 bit minimum for a priority request but you can get a priority request too if you like you's you're being so sweet um and Lancer you got uh you resubbed so you get a priority request too thank you so much you guys thank you and uh, again, you don't have to pick something. I just like to know I, I said it was available, you know. So we're going to do one more song and then our priority requests for the epic epic. Thank you guys so much again, everybody. I feel like I kind of adjusted my settings. I've been focusing on uh, recording that next YouTube video, and I do, I just have to alter things a little bit for when I record in Logic versus Loop in Ableton. Um, but I think I got things back to where I feel comfortable. Okay. Windfall Island. This one's super cute. It's my favorite song from uh, Wind Waker.
Oh, I'm super stoked on that. Um, that was probably the most in tune I've gotten that beginning section where it's bum 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 of course I do it like two octaves higher than that so it's very screechy and I'm usually pretty pitchy on that but that was a bit better so that's awesome Okay, great. We're ready to get in these priority requests. Thank you guys for letting me pick a couple songs just to get started on stream to get um, warmed up and comfortable. Um, for Sergio, uh, the question, why did I decide to play video game songs? Um, if I'm being honest, it's because I think I listen to video game music more than any other type of music like more than commercial music or pop or rock. Um, I don't know. I just find video game music really relaxing. And a lot of these games I've played, so there's a lot of comfort that comes with it. And I think I'll prepare a life on Mars while I answer this question. Since I work as a freelancer, um, I work with a lot of songwriters and uh, I have to learn a lot of like covers and things like that for um, rock bands and shows is, you know, when you go, for instance, on the main street of Nashville for Broadway, you hear covers everywhere. You hear Brown Eyed Girl and uh, Sweet Home Alabama and crazy and toxic and all these songs are awesome but I've had to learn them for work um and I practice them for work like you know I run through them at rehearsal and then do it live and so video game music I wasn't getting asked to do or I had to learn for a gig so it felt like something I was doing for me just because I wanted to do it and therefore, it became such like a uh, an escape for me that made me really happy. Um, and I think uh, the last thing I'll say about it is, you know, like I haven't played Animal Crossing, but I think this is a good way to describe it potentially. When I listen to video game music, it kind of makes me like feel like I'm in a video game. That sounds super lame, but... You know, when I'm going around the house and sweeping and like cooking and getting things all set up for my day, when I have the game music on in the back, it makes me feel like kind of happy and blushy where I'm like, yeah, I'm just like in my own little game. It's happy. So that's why I'm really passionate about video game music. Um, especially going to Berkeley. You see, you know, at Berkeley, like I had to learn all of the like most important songs not all of them but as much as I could <laughs> like make sure you learn Lovey and La Rose and uh, Fly Me to the Moon and also learn Dream Theater and learn Electric Light Orchestra and don't forget about Eric Clapton and it's like oh my gosh there's so much to do but video game music was always the thing that was my choice that I got to do when you're a musician you have to kind of especially if you want to make a career in it you have to get used to the idea of being a jukebox for people and I hate to admit that I have not from you guys don't worry but I have had some bad experience of being treated as a jukebox where like I've been yelled at on stage for not playing particular songs that people wanted to hear and especially if they're not even tipping there was something really depressing about it you know where I'm like man this person like really don't see me as anything other than a vehicle to do something that they want and when you're not paid for it and you do it for four hours and pay fifty dollars for parking it starts to really kind of wear on your soul a bit um but when I came home and I got to play Skyloft from Zelda, 
it just that was a moment for me and I was like in my heart oh wouldn't it be amazing if I could do this yeah for blue that's what it felt like it felt very dance monkey um like I've had one show I had a guy basically like he threatened to throw his beer at me because I didn't do Devil Went Down to Georgia. And he spent the rest of the set in right in front of my spot on stage just making fun of me. Like, she thinks she's so hot. Like, she's, she's like, not good looking at all. And, like, oh, my God, I can – I was on tour at that point for two weeks. And I guess since he's down there, he could see my armpit. And he was like, she's disgusting. She doesn't even shave her armpits. I can see a bit of it there. Like, she's the worst. Like, and it went on for like an hour. It was so bad. And then finally, by the end of the set, I didn't care anymore. And I just bent down and looked at him like right in his face. And I was like, you need to go to the other side of the stage now. He's like, what are you talking about? I'm like, you need to leave immediately. And like, I could then see people starting to look at us, which made him uncomfortable. So he moved. But I was like, you're leaving right now. (laughs) People make fun of these big eyes, but when they're pissed and focused at you, geez. I was like, come on, overall man, put a shirt on under those overalls and get to the other side of the stage. Leave me alone. Um... That was a bit of a tangent to answer a very sweet question of (laughs) why I play video game music. Uh, My bad. And people are apologizing. Don't apologize. I think in every work field, people have to deal with stuff like that. Um, No matter what gender and uh, background, like people do, you know, you, you sometimes get treated like, like crap out of job you know um it's okay uh why did no other patrons confront that dude oh no they like once i started to bring attention to it they could feel people seeing there was an issue and i did see some people stepping forward ready to like you know help and he went to the other side of the stage immediately. And you know what the best part is? It was pouring rain at that gig, and uh, the other side of the stage was in the rain, so. (laughs) That's what made it even better. I was like, you're gonna go stand over there now. And he was like, (gasps) like looking at the other side, saw it was raining, and I was like, yeah, that's where you go. You go there, now, away, away with you. Take your two Bud Lights that are this big and get the hell over there, you butthole. Um, for Spallet, don't worry, I saw your message. I'm about to get to that right now. I just uh, kind of I wanted to finish my thought there. Uh, and you don't need to apologize for the long message. You're good. My parents aren't allowing me to make future with my guitar. They say there is not much career in India. They want me to become a doctor. Um, I can go for medical, but I can become a professional guitarist after college. That's a tough, um, a tough thing because I definitely can't sugarcoat it. It is really hard. What I would suggest is, it sounds like you're pretty young. Start doing a bit of both. Like when I first started, I was uh, dividing my time between focusing on becoming a teacher as well as a musician. And even though I was taking the education classes, I put my heart and soul into the, the violin and it, it was there and it helped me. But I feel like if you're young, try and do a little bit of a couple different things because you never know when what things are gonna turn out. I hope that was a good answer. I feel like I should tell you like, just go for it, hell yeah, but I do think it's smart when you're young especially to try and do like don't give up on anything but try and do a couple things um I know I missed a fair amount of things in chat so I'm just scrolling up I want to make sure I try and cover everything 
<laughs> I'm not shading on Bud Light, by the way. I'll mess with a I'll mess with a Bud Light. I'm more of a Miller Light girl, but yeah. Um <laughs> He did go stand in the rain too for Kristen. It was awesome. Uh and I do have some coffee, Kristen, if you would like some. I like imagining I have a little bar under here. And you just hear like glasses and stuff. I'm like, and then just push it out to you on the counter. Ask you about your day. Um, I've actually had, since I told that story, I've had two large drunk overalled men without shirts underneath yell at me and threaten me for not playing Devil Went Down to Georgia. Which is why I will oh, never no. play Devil Went Down to Georgia. If I wanted to learn it, I would have learned it by now. But, you know, respect to the king, Charlie Daniels. I just don't really want to do it. <laughs> I I only, I, I put my heart into songs and I don't want to put my heart into it. And I understand that people are aware that it's a violin song, but let's be real, that's a large reason about why they ask me to do it. It's kind of like a, hey, I know that's a violin song and you play violin, so do it. And it's like, ugh, I'm happy that you recognize these two things are associated with each other, but that doesn't mean I'm gonna do it. Uh, Daniel, what's up? How are you? Feeling a bit better today myself. Epic, I hope you're still here. I went on so many tangents, I apologize. See, this fiddle tune, I did learn because I really like it. I think it's so cool. Like, I like fiddle. But just like anything, uh, you know, I, I'd rather play a song that I enjoy playing. What's the difference between a violin and a fiddle? Mostly just how you play it. There are some violins that sound better for, you know, class, uh, classical music and some that sound better for fiddle music. Whether it's like, you know, for classical, you want an instrument where your strings are very bright, especially the top strings where it just kind of soars. For a fiddle, you can get an instrument that's a little more like dulled with the sound, maybe thicker wood. So it's kind of more one volume rather than a lot of uh, variance. But technically, they are the same instrument. Uh, I'll look out for <laughs> uh, these things go together. I mean, again, like I, I've had some of the best times of my life sincerely at fiddle jams where we'll just get a freaking pitcher of beer and I'll also be in my overalls having the best time. Um, I have like five pairs of overalls in my closet right now. Don't tempt me. I'll put, I'll put one on. I freaking love me some denim. I probably shouldn't even have associated that with part of the story. I guess I was just trying to pic give a picture of what the, the scene was like. Um, Celestial twitching, hello. Challenge accepted to put on a pair of overalls. I do love me a pair of overalls, let me tell you. <laughs> wear overalls. If we hit the dono go, I'll wear overalls. Worst incentive ever. <laughs> Okay, okay. We're going to do Life on Mars now. I have a very, um, I don't know what the word I'm looking for is. I have a very, very thought out clothes collection. I'm very careful with what I buy and making sure that it's filling in a gap in the closet. So when I like when I needed a pair of black pants, I was very careful about finding the pair of black pants that I wanted. 
And I get all my clothes uh, used too, so they're cheaper. And it's also better for the environment. Cool. I'm going to get um, my Soundbrenner. I got the brand new core, which I'm so excited about. I honestly didn't have time to set it up. And I didn't want to fumble with it for my first time using it, especially since I just got used to using the core. So I'm going to, I mean, um, the pulse rather. So I'm going to use my pulse today, but I will be using the core, the upgrade very soon. Uh, MJ, thank you for donating towards my overalls donation goal. <laughs> thank you. And uh, please let me know if I can play you something. Oh, handicapper. Uh, bien vien oh, I should remember this. Bien vienno? Is that how? I don't know how to say hello in Italian. Isn't it bien something? I'm sorry. Oh. Bien vien. What kind of wine was it? I do like me a nice red wine. Mix it with some Miller Lite. Oh, that's when it's really something special. <laughs> that must have been ear blood for some people. <laughs> They're like, no. Oh, I was way off. I thought last time I visited Italy, we, we kept saying like bien something. I can't remember. All right. How are you doing today for Handicapper? Clearly, it must be good if you had some lovely wine in Italy. I mean, that's a beautiful start to any day. Uh, Faribault, welcome. How are you? Oh, it's probably good morning. All right. So... With my Soundbrenner, uh, this is my vibrating metronome. Most of you guys know what it is by now, so I'll keep this short. But It's a company that I'm partnered with, and I really like them. They've been very kind to me, and uh, I like their products a lot. So if you are a musician and you're looking for um, something to add to your practice regime, I highly recommend the Soundbrenner vibrating metronome. Yeah, I can do Is You, Is You, Is You, Ain't My Baby. I might just sing it and play the guitar if that's okay, rather than like a loop. So if people are curious as to what our song list is, uh, we have Life on Mars, Don't Know Why by Nora Jones, God Only Knows, and then Is You, Is You, Is You, Ain't My Baby. Got a nice little range there. David Bowie, some classic jazz, can't go wrong. So I've pre-recorded the guitar uh, already on this, and I'm going to layer a string section, and I hope you guys enjoy. I might, I'm just going to do a volume check on the guitar. Wait, this has been warped, which means that's not the original tempo. I'm going to reopen the project. Since my metronome is synced up with Ableton, if I adjust the tempo here, it will warp the audio to the tempo, which is very useful if uh, that's what I wanted to do. <laughs> but I, I, I just bumped it, so we're going to fix that. Life on Mars, what is the actual tempo? 150, yeah. It was 126, so it got, it got moved there. <laughs> And it's already adjusted on the app and on the device itself, which is great. So we're good. Let's layer some strings. Yeah. Core bleep bloop metronome for practice last night. It was not fun. Like, I, I will use, admittedly, both the audible metronome and the vibrating in one practice section. Um, 
I really enjoy both of them. Giorgio's wife from the airport. Very nice. I'll try and play nicely for you all. Uh, DeSholta, thank you for a $10 donation. Thank you very much. That's very generous. Um, and please let me know if I can play you something to say thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, ugly bleep bloop. I know what you mean. Some can be really not comfy. Unplug the piano. Debbie, thank you for a follow.
scary scarecrow. <laughs> for the follow. And uh, Kaja Katie and Debbie, thank you guys so much. You're real high. I've wrote it ten times or more It's about to be it's a game As I ask you to focus on Sanders Fighting in the dance hall Oh man, look at those cavemen go It's a freaky show Take a look at the I'm trying to be less scared when I go in for that high note on the vocals, but admittedly, since it was still morning, I, I didn't know if I wanted to like go full. Murmur. A uh, butt smuggler. You know how much I love those two hearts next to each other because it looks like a little butt. How are you doing today? And Uriel, thank you. I hope you're having a nice day. Let's see. I've been seeing so much in chat. I've been uh, wanting to just keep talking to you guys. Everyone's been so sweet. Fungal, I saw your comment. You were so sweet. <laughs> Thank you so much. You guys make my day feel uh, always just infinitely happier. I feel very spoiled. Um, okay, next up we got Don't Know Why for Ray Vaughn. And this is one that I do from scratch. So I need to open up a new Ableton. There we go. I was telling you guys how I basically outgrown almost every single binder. Not because of ability. I still got to tighten a lot of these up. But um, my binders are all filled up with wonderful music. So I got to start new binders. And I love organizing a new binder, let me tell you. This one's alphabetical order and pristine. Uh, D, what's up? It's good to see you. Fellow Nashvillian. Musician extraordinaire. If you guys haven't already checked out D Bakes, 
make sure to do so. She's another uh, music streamer, also based in Nashville, and she's also very sweet and just lovely. So I know that you'll enjoy her company. I'm doing good for D-Bakes. I, I had, oh, I had a weekend. I was having a real hard time with uh, my mental health this weekend. Jeez. But I did the right thing, which was call my mama. And my mom was awesome. I told you guys this story about it. It was so ridiculous. Uh, I was on the phone with my mom. And I'm a lot better now. But I was crying so hard. And mid-conversation I stepped in something and I was like what is that and I looked down and there's a a big smear on the ground I'm like oh my god no way and I stepped in poop so that was awesome and I told my mom I was like ah oh, I stepped in poop and she was like who's poop and that cracked me up I was like what do you mean? Who's poop? Like, I have a cat. Like, I thought that would be unsaid that it was it would be a blue poop. She was like, who's poop? And I was like, either you think I'm really that unstable at this point. <laughs> like, did, are you asking if you think it's my poop, Mom? Oh my god, for super. I literally just did Life on Mars. I just finished it. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm also only going to be taking priority requests right now, uh, which means people who like subbed and stuff. Yes, I have a, I have a fair amount of those that I'm trying to get through right now. Um, I just want to make sure I, you know, give my thanks to people who are supporting this channel so I can keep doing it full time. Uh, so thank you. Who's poop? I should have just been like mine. I'm really stressed out, mom. She would have bought a plane ticket like immediately. <laughs> but um, the weekend was great, honestly. I had two shows. I played a show Friday with my rock band Fable Cry. And then I did a, a folk country show with uh, my other band Creature Comfort. Each show went really well. It was just a long week, and I know a part of it was just me crashing. And a part of it was because I, I had some heart hurt. Uh, I bumped into someone I hadn't seen for a long time. It made me, made me very sad. Ooh, my vibrations are not matching this, and I need the vibrating metronome to work for this. Let's see our tempo. This seems like a nice tempo. Oh no, it, and it was totally fine. Um, you know, it made me really appreciate the members of the band I was with. Yes, they were so nice. It's just a group of Tennessee boys, and they were really wonderful and supportive and great. Might be a little slow, but I think it will be a very like tender performance. I think I have to let this charge up or something. It's not agreeing with me. So I'm not gonna change the tempo. <laughs> Let's do it. Uh, you go here and I do the tag three times the second time. One, two.
that's not right. Oh, that was so smooth too. What is that second chord? I don't know about that. I found it. Is it late? Yes, but that's okay. Okay. Let's do delete the poopy one. some string layers. I feel like um, how I felt this weekend is making this song really feel very natural to build right now. It feels very therapeutic. I think this will be a nice performance, I hope. <laughs> Unless I step in something.
when I saw the break of day Wish that I could fly away Instead of nailing in the sand Catching teardrops in my hand My heart is drenched in wine You left me on my mind forever Out across the endless sea in ecstasy But I'll be a bag of bones Driving down so bad I missed MJ's request. If they come back, I'll, I'll make sure to put that in there. Oh, that felt nice today. I needed that. I believe I heard that um, that song really is about kind of dealing with that inner sadness, you know. I kind of want to write something down. I have so many books here, but nothing I can write on. I guess I'll put it in this one. This is, it makes me feel kind of lame, but this is like a, uh, I don't know how to describe it. It's, this is where I write my thoughts when I'm doing something creative. Like I hate recording, so I was writing here. Trying to record vocals. I've spent three days trying to do this. I know I can do this and do this well, but I still so sound af afraid every single take. Then I give myself advice. Try finishing note on the same pitch you started. Consonant shorter. Watch out for S's. I can do this. 
I've been uh, going through my song list again, and I'm putting together essentially set lists. Yes, I want to make sure before I keep adding things to my song list that I really feel very good about what I have. And this is an example of one I feel very good about. I don't really want to change anything. So I'm going to make a list here of loops I feel good about. Yes, like for Life on Mars, for an example, uh, I feel pretty good about that one. A part of me wants to try and learn some piano for it and maybe pre-record like one of the string layers so I can just jump right into it and replace that one layer with me playing piano. So I should write that down too. Okay, let's let's just knock this out together. <laughs> um, I hope that this isn't super boring. Love the energy, but we're not there yet. There we go. Loops I feel good about. We're going to put don't know why. Other loops I know I feel good about. I like the rearrangement I did for the Wilco loop. I really like the Duran Duran one. And my goal is to make that the whole list. So now on the next page, let's write loops I want to fix and what I want to fix with them. So, loops, I want to fix. Life on Mars. The piano is so iconic in that song and I just feel like it needs piano. Maybe not the exact part. So I'm gonna write piano, pre-record, low string I decided to make this one my binder or bu not binder notebook for kind of writing out thoughts while I'm being creative because it's my sailor moon one cute love it I love it so much and sailor moon's always giving me encouraging advice so uh, I'm always open to suggestions, by the way, for this stuff. Um, I'm just really determined. You guys know that. Uh, I'm so focused on making sure I, I keep growing and I keep getting better. And my goal is I, I want to have only bangers on this channel. I just want to make sure that I... I just want to make something special, you know? I think I'm on the right path, but I, I want to be a bit more refined. Uh, Jim, I'm honored. <laughs> Thank you for sticking around and giving me a chance to keep moving forward. I, I didn't get into Sailor Moon until I was in college. <laughs> my roommate, my sweet roommate at the time, I was going through a rough patch in college. Really dark path. And uh, she was like, Sailor Moon always makes me feel better. We watched it together. And when I ended up watching every single Sailor Moon ever. Ever! Um, Wanakas, thank you for the bits, by the way. We're going to move on to God Only Knows. This is another loop where I feel like... I don't know if it's fine as is or if I should add something. Again, I'm open to suggestions with you guys. Maybe piano too, I don't know. Maybe pre-record a string and replace it with a piano. Because this was one of the first loops I ever did. And I experimented with loops, you know, all on one track, right? Where it's just a big circle. This was the first one where I learned essentially how to make three little circles. So this one was just the intro. And then a separate pedal had the verse and a separate had the bridge. It was the first loop I tried to do that where it wasn't one big, uh, you know, thing. I hope this didn't make anyone dizzy. I saw the delayed in my, uh, 
<laughs> Twitch page and was like, that's a little disorienting. God only knows. This reminds me... Uh, oh, I missed it. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Oh, I love Spirited Away. We actually watched my uh, neighbor Totoro together in Discord. Which was very sweet. It was a very cozy night. The next one we're doing in Discord is going to be um, Over the Garden Wall. Which I've never seen and I'm really excited to see. Uh, maybe we'll do it the week... Not this weekend, but the next one. Yes, I'm traveling to see my nephews this weekend. Okay, God only knows this next. I need you. Let's go. Hey, Hoka Bob.
as there are stars above you. You'll never need to doubt it. I'll make you so sure about it. God only knows what I'd be without you. If you should ever leave me, the life would still go on, believe me. The world could show nothing to me. So what good would living do me? God only knows what I'd be without you. God only knows what I'd be without you. gotta say it before yeah. I should write a note for myself to do that as you guys can see I'm whenever I do a loop or any performance I guess I try to write down something if I think it's gonna help for next time so I'll say end vocal loop before Quote, God only knows. Pick up. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Ray. Do you guys think there's anything missing with that one? I'm going through. Oh, Andrew, I got you. Listen, I can even make like ASMR like bar sounds. So how was your day, kid? Poor sound. That just sounded like I peed a little. I didn't. Here's your coffee. <laughs> now that I'm looking down, Matt, um, there is a fair amount of electronics that I could have a really, that, that could have gone poorly. Uh, Lorenzo, it's good to see you again. Uh, there's going to be clarinet added to my ensemble of instruments at some point, kind of soon. What key is this in? I capoed it. <laughs> I don't even know what key I'm playing on the violin. The chords are kind of funny, which is what makes this chord progression and song so beautiful. Oh my god, Greg's here too? It's a freaking party. Quiet entertainer, big shout out. One of my dear friends. 
How are you, Greg? And Leto, thank you for a follow. maybe some nice chords going like what I hear in my head that I can't play yet is something like a clunky chords right diddly diddly dun. and then maybe up diddly diddly dun. you know what I mean <laughs> I think that would be kind of cute I'll figure it out that'd be like that's the one thing at least I know for sure I'm hearing and maybe I, even just a kick drum but it's kind of aggressive maybe like with like a little like that motion I'm such a nerd uh I think that basic kick pre-recorded might be a good idea so I'm gonna write I'm writing down for all my loops suggestions for myself on how to revamp them all and make them make them all hits if I can before I focus on trying to add more and more. So for God only knows, I wanna try pre-record kick. I'm gonna write simple kick so I don't overdo it. And piano arpeggios. And I'm gonna spell arpeggios incorrectly. That part's very important. <laughs> cool. Uh, okay, great. We got one more priority request, and then I'll probably... Oh, if that's how you spell it, I was way off for D. I was way off. Is there two Gs and one P? Is that it? I don't know. I'm a music teacher, by the way. <laughs> A really good one, if I do say so myself. All right, we're doing People Are Strange. See, like this one, I feel like I could, uh, I could do in a different way. Oh, I did spell it right. Yes. Woo. Wicked smart. People are strange. I did pre-record guitar for this as well. A bass line for God Only Knows. That could actually be really interesting. I'll look into that. I'm thinking about it. I'm visualizing the soundscape. Uh, what am I doing? People are strange. Okay. Banjo. Kind of a tune. It's not in tune. It was wishful thinking. 
Yep, we're doing the doors, baby. This one doesn't need like any reverb. It's better when it's kind of raw. Raw, baby. Rock em. Rock. Oh, it's still going.
When you're a stranger, faces look ugly, oh uh -huh. when you're down, oh those women seem wicked, when you're unwanted, streets are uneven, oh uh -huh. when you're down, when you're strange, faces come out of the rain. All it needs is a signature burp at the end, which is what I always would naturally do. But today we got a we got a mouth fart, which was something real special. Um, you know, I don't think I want to change that. That that one, I'm like maybe I should pre-record a kick drum on. But then again, I kind of like that it's all acoustic. Maybe the ah, maybe a drum. We'll put that as a maybe drum. It's such an easy thing that I could, you know. I should also have like a um, a mop with a string, one of those basses. You know what I mean? Just like boom, boom, boom. I have a regular bass, but 
leave it as is. No, so no percussion. I do have a washboard though, which which is pretty fun on this one. We'll say maybe. But I feel pretty good about that one. Uh, to reiterate why I'm writing all this down, uh, I, I've decided to go through my entire set list and, and just refine it, make it nice. Uh, I want to make every loop solid at this point. It took me a while to get comfortable using Ableton and also using my... Where is it? Here it is. Vibrating metronome. Took me a second to get used to them, but I feel like I've settled with it and I, I can make it better. So at this point, this is a little too powerful. There we go. Uh, at this point in my streaming growth, it seems like a responsible time to just kind of do some spring cleaning and just make sure, again, that all the things on my lists are reliable and enjoyable and refined and, and good. So I'm writing down feedback for every single one unless I feel like it's fine. Don't know why I don't really want to change anything on it. Maybe I have a better violin part, but I can figure that out. So for this, maybe kick. and alt percussion. Be dime, thank you. You guys know me though. I'm like my own harshest critic. I'm so hard on myself. I'm working on it, but um thank you for staying lifted. Thank you. I I think what happened if I'm being honest is um I started loops that I'm really excited to show you. Like I I've been working on um, these St. Vincent loops that I'm, I feel really strongly about, but, and, and I've been working on just a bunch of different ones, but I felt like I hit a wall where I was like, how can I write new loops until I fix all the problems that I already have? Yes, I quite honestly don't feel very confident about my song list at this point because of all the changes I've made and new instruments. So I'm doing this to make sure I feel more confident and get over my little fear and barrier I've made for myself about making new loops. I just wanna make sure everything else is ready to go first. Um, you guys have heard me say similar things about, uh, about um, recording. Sorry, I was distracted. I want to learn this song, New Snow. I like it. This poor notebook is just covered in so much. From the Unravel. All right. Hey, I got through all the priority requests. I did eat. Nice. Cool. Well, since I did that, I'm going to take a, a quick break and just fill up my coffee cup and use the restroom real quick. And then I'm going to move on from loops to doing some tracks and work on my technique and playing and make sure that uh, everything's all good to go. Amade, welcome. It's nice to see you. Thank you for the follows, by the way, from um, Liliana and Leto and Paliak. Thank you very much. I appreciate you very much. And I will be back in a, what's that expression? A something of a lamb's tail, a shake of a lamb's tail. Is that right? This song makes me feel like I'm dying. We're gonna do something different. This is better. <laughs> I could like hear the angels coming for it. Two shales of a lamb's tail. Shale? What the hell is a shale? Huh. Alright, I'll be right back. Oh, shakes. Okay.
coffee filled. Yes. I'm looking at a piece here that I'm going to try and do a loop of today, I think. Um, Out of My Head by Fastball. I think I need to sing that song right now to, like, get me... Oh, will that make me sad, though? Oh, it's going to make me sad, but that's okay. It's okay. But first, let's do some tracks. What do I want to play? Hmm... Final Fantasy. Oh, I want to do Eunice Decision. I like this piece. It's very pretty. Um, Bellu, thank you very much for your follow. Thank you. And hi. I hope you're having a nice day. So... I just did a bunch of loops, and now I'm gonna be playing some tracks. Ow! I got so many mosquito bites this weekend playing outside. Jeez Louise, they're everywhere. All right, sip of coffee before I go. I don't know any Indian songs, but I know that there's a lot of violin music in Indian music. I like slurp that into the mic, my bad. <laughs> Yuna's decision, baby. It's such a pretty song. Remake. Thinking about my violin teacher's corrections. Gotta keep my arm back.
trying to be confident going down to that note in the beginning so like well even that start should be more confident I do not have Vivaldi Springs on my list, but I have a little bit of classical. Not too much. The pieces are usually very, very long. Um, so admittedly, it's not the most like practical one for my song list. I realized while I was doing this that it's actually, I can apply one of my violin lesson things to it. Uh, Zolato, thank you for a follow. So... In my beautiful, very loved crate, sir. This is a series that basically all violinists learn. Uh, I have too many things on my stand. What I learned, which I thought was very interesting from my last lesson, was that whenever I cross uh, strings on the violin, it needs to be a double stop. Uh, which means you play two strings at the same time for a very brief second. So in order for, uh, in order to get myself better with it, I'm applying it to a piece from Kreitzer, Kreitzer number three. Uh, I played when I was a little violin, but I quit and picked it up again older. So I've played it now for like 12 years straight. So 
when I cross strings, I'm going to play two strings at the same time uh, if they are slurred. It, it only applies if they're slurred. I should have specified that. Um, so my exercise sounds like this. My uh, double stops were more in tune. I got to work really hard on that shifting up thing. I'm a violin lesson tomorrow, so I'm going to do that tonight a lot. Put on a stream I like and just do that over and over for probably 30 minutes. Um, uh, sure. I'll just do it a cappella, though. I think I might learn an all like double stop version of that song. I feel like that would be more interesting than yes, I, I have made that into a loop before. I haven't been that jazzed on that loop though. So maybe instead I'll just find a way to do it like Yeah, just like an all double stop version, I think would be a way to make me more excited about it, I guess. 
Yes, with my loop rendition, I'm like, Meh. Oh, yeah, for B-Dime, for sure. It's called the Eastrim. I'll ask, I'll ask the guys if they're selling the shirts online. I can actually, I can just text him right now. He'd, he'd probably be so excited to hear that people like the shirt. And, you know, you'd be supporting a, an independent music venue here in Nashville, which are surprisingly harder to come by. Um, you know, like there's a bunch of venues where you can buy or you can see cover bands, but it's very difficult to find venues sometimes that are playing original music uh, because the tourists want to come and hear, uh, you know, Sweet Home Alabama and uh, things like that. So they'd rather hear that in the venues than a lot of original artists, unfortunately. Uh, can people buy the Eastrum shirts online? Question mark. Cool. Let's see. Yeah, if, if he gets back to me, uh, I'm sure he will pretty soon. I'll just put the link right in chat if you want to get one. Uh, Bad Guy by Billie Eilish. I've not done that one yet. I like the song, though. Selfishly, I'd want to do... Uh, what's that song of hers I really like? Bury a Friend. I really like that one. I got to get some... I want to get new merch. No offense, pencils. <laughs> but I'm so self-conscious about the idea of merch. I'm like, what do what do I put on it? Like, I don't know what to put on it. I feel very o overwhelmed by the idea of figuring out a merch situation. I mean, I'm not getting rid of the other merch. Don't don't worry about that. I just kind of want a more uh, commercial option. Is that a good way to put it? All right, cool. Well. Yeah, less inside joke kind of options, yeah. Some stuff that maybe like my mom would like, you know? As beautiful as the Hank hoodie is. <laughs> um, I'm having an urge to play uh, the reprise from Spirited Away. I really love this song. I don't think she doesn't love Frank, but I don't think she wants to deal with the impending question of what is that if she ever decides to wear it outside the house. You're like, oh, this is my daughter's face on um, a Furby body with Barbie legs, obviously, and his name is Frank. I'd be like, okay, crazy lady. This particular piano performance that I'm going to play along to is uh, by a wonderful YouTuber by the name of Calico. If you guys want to check out their channel, see what they're all about. My mom gives uh, hotel tours, so she'll be like explaining a painting. People will be like, ma'am, I'm sorry, what is on your shirt? She's like, oh, that is, that is Frank. So Frank's history. <laughs> it was a rainy day in 2019. When the great artist pencils 45. <laughs> Genius pencils for you. Oh, can I try again? I played an F natural. 
I'm so embarrassing. <laughs>
Yeah, a little bit of ear bloody there. Overall, I'm not happy with my performance of that, if I'm being honest. I, I might do an acoustic run through, acapella run through, if you guys don't mind. Um, BMN, thank you so much for a resub for two months now. Let's go! Thank you. And please, please let me know if I can play something for you as a priority request um, so that I can thank you. Call me Bernardo. Okay, I'll do my best to remember. I'm usually okay with remembering the details, but uh, again, for Bernardo, thank you very much. And uh, again, let me know if I can play something, uh, especially for you to say thank you. I'm only taking priority requests for right now. Um, I'm going to just go through as much as I can. All right, let's clean this up because this was a little, a little poopy. I did a poopy performance. Um... Bernardo, thank you. That's very kind. Thank you. Acapella performing under a bazaar. Also, Rosie and CJ, thank you for the follows and be dime for your epic purchase of the Godzilla versus Frank water bottle. <laughs> All right, let's make this better. See ya for Bo. Those need to be more tied together, I think. Better. Awful. Try it in third position, I think. I'm gonna write some notes for myself. I think the thing I need the most for this piece is a continued vibrato. I noticed with my teacher that I tend to cut my vibrato short sometimes. So I want my vibrato to continue. And I need to go to third position. It sounds better when I shift here. Or here. Ooh, I don't know which one. We'll see. Sardo Nunzi! Thank you so much for a resub. It's so nice to see you again. 14 months over a year. That's wild. Thank you so much, Sardo Nunzi. Thank you. Um, and please let me know if I can play something from the song list for you to say thank you. So I think this note of continuous vibrato is going to be a good one. If you guys want to hear the difference of what I'm talking about, here's not continued vibrato. You can hear it stops. I want them to go through the note, so like this.
piano go. On the next page. All right, we're getting in the high notes here. Woo! Wish me luck. Yeah, that the long notes sound better. Thank you guys. Thanks. <laughs> okay, these are the soft parts before the big part. Thank you for the raid. Thank you. Um, I was trying to do an acapella performance with corrections that I'm trying to finish. Uh, and we're getting towards the real dicey part. So prepare your ears. Um, if you guys love violin, I, I hope that you would consider continuing your violin twitch journey by checking out Amoroso. Uh, he's an extremely, extremely talented, classically trained, wonderful violinist. Uh, who I can't recommend enough. Let me know if I can play you something. And for the Raiders, what's up? I'm Joe. I play loops and video game music. Yes. All right, let's try and tighten up this ending, which is kind of not that good right now. Okay, lean into it. so nervous to go into it, just play it. That's hard for me. It's getting closer. <laughs> oh, I'm realizing I just need to commit to it and it's only gonna help. Oh, I actually just sing and play guitar for this one. So that would be a nice little break. Sorry about the ear blood, everybody. I'm practicing. I'm trying to get it better. I'm trying so hard. 
Let's see. Get this loaded up here. Fly me to the moon. I do some kind of like jazz. I use this as a goal for me to learn some more jazz voicings on the guitar. Violin is a instrument I'm most comfortable with, but I also play a lot of guitar and I've been practicing piano and bass, which has been very fun. Oh, and I'm uh, in singing. Of course. Let's see. Got to remember how to do it. Give it a go. Might try some scat. Nothing too crazy as I'm focusing on these chords real hard. <laughs> kinda kind of wanna check my tuning, especially with these more jazzier notes. The chords are so worth it though. They're so pretty. Yeah, that was a little funky town. Funky town, USA. So a little story time. It doesn't give it away. But uh, remember when everyone watched Squid Games? I was a little late to that. And when I did watch it, I'd spent the day learning the song with the jazz chord voicings. And sure enough, the very last scene of that creepy show, they played this song and I was thoroughly disturbed. I was like, ah! I was waiting for someone to like appear on my porch and give me one of those business cards with like the shapes on it. There we go. See you, Blocka. Thank you again for the radar, Marissa. I hope I'm saying your name correctly. I'm sorry if I'm doing it kind of funky. Right. Fly to the moon, let me play among the stars. Let me say the spring is like on Jupiter and Mars. In other words, hold my the words, darling, kiss me, fill my heart with song, let me sing forevermore, you are all I long for, that I worship and adore, in other words, please be true. suck at this, sorry. <laughs> Fill my house song and let me sing forevermore. You are all I long for that I worship and adore. In other words, please be
getting there. I want to get myself a, a hollow body electric guitar really bad one day. But I told myself I don't want to get it unless I learn a bunch of songs with jazz voicings like these to really shine through on it. Um, but thank you guys so much. My, my training, I guess, is that uh, I, I've been singing all my life. I always loved singing. And I went to Berkeley as a vocalist for two years. But I found myself in the program feeling uh, really intimidated. I, I just didn't have the confidence to stand in front of a classroom with a mic and walk around and use my hands and, and do all the things they wanted me to do. Um, and I was also very conflicted because uh, I, I saw the string program and I, I can't describe to you how badly I wanted to be in the string program. Yes, I played violin when I was a kid, uh, but I quit. Yes, uh, I just was really afraid of my teacher, and they made me feel really bad, <laughs> so I quit. And then I picked up the violin again at 18 while studying voice and practiced every day. And uh, I would buy players coffee to play with me for an hour and ask some questions. And finished my degree, re-auditioned on violin for the last two years. And I've been playing ever since. So I have a bit of a gap in the violin training. And then I stopped singing for a while because Berkeley too. So I've had this weird kind of off and on again thing with relationships with my instruments. But you guys have been encouraging me. So I've been really diving deep into it. I envy your violin skills, Amoroso. You make it look so dang easy. I, I still... Uh, I'm still trying to get through some some very basic things, but I'm working hard for it. I, I started taking lessons again, and I've been really patiently just walking through my crates, sir, and my shifting exercises, and and uh, I'm, I'm happy to say as well that I've been enjoying it. Um, I've been really enjoying the just studious, almost, uh, almost, Hip, not hypnotic. What's the word? Meditative. That's what I'm looking for. Repetition of it. And since I've been practicing with my uh, Soundbrenner metronome, the vibrating metronome, it's been a nice alternate way to kind of go through a lot of repetitious work without needing that loud ticking of the metronome in the background. I've been using this for a couple months now. I mainly got it because I can uh, hook it up with Ableton, but um, I've really enjoyed it for my own practice, especially the repetitious stuff where I can have maybe a streamer on in the back and just work on some shifts over and over. So if you're interested in trying out the vibrating metronome, I am partnered with them and have a code for 20% uh, off for anyone who wants to give it a go. I do want to emphasize that it's a practice tool um, so that if it's something you're interested in, it's something that's designed towards a, you know, an actively practicing musician to, to get better. I got through the priority requests, but let's do out of my head now, because I think it will actually flow quite nicely after what I just did. And then we'll go back into some track playing as I do want to I have a violin lesson tomorrow, so I'm trying to apply some of my corrections today. Uh, Underground Passion, thank you for the follow, by the way. And speaking of this, when I build a loop from scratch, I use the sound brenner. This is so you guys don't have to hear the metronome when I record loops, which a lot of people don't find to be very pleasant. <laughs> and I understand why, trust me. I've worked with a metronome long enough that I don't mind it now. But I know most people, and especially beginners, really hate the sound of the metronome. Um, okay. Making sure I'm hooked up through Bluetooth. So now I'm connected to Ableton. Do, what instrument do I want to start on? Let's start on guitar. 
this song I listened to a lot in Boston when I was kind of going through that tough time. It made me feel better. Not because it's a happy song, but I don't know. It just, uh, I guess, helped me kind of get out some sad feelings. Sometimes I feel like I'm drunk on the wheel. Wheel of Boston memories never in mail. Give it a spin. Okay, 80 feels nice. If you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm just twisting this. It's how I change the tempo. It's vibrating now. Uh, thank you, Black Shadow, for the follow. Black Shadow C, to be specific. A little bit of coffee. Different instruments have been uh, easier or more difficult to use the vibrating metronome with. Oh, hey, I passed 29,000 followers. It happened. 29K. Thank you guys so much. Oh, we are getting close to that big old 30,000. That's insane to think about. Ooh, I might hit 30,000 before my three year. Oh, that would be so satisfying. Three years, 30,000. Let me know what you guys want me to do to celebrate when that does happen. We talked about a couple things, like I might have a prom where I'll get like a corsage to wear prom dress. Do the whole, do the whole thing. Uh, Dragon Bunny, thank you for the fault. Thank you guys so much. I love you so damn much. I've become, through Twitch, so much stronger of a musician because of the encouragement you guys have given me and the uh, safe place to practice and take risks. When I first started streaming, I never looped before. I learned how to loop live on here with you guys. And it was very scary but you guys always made me feel safe. Thank you, my lady. Oh, good sir. It's proper, yes. Still feel out of tune. What's going on here? I hope no one has perfect pitch in here. Someone with perfect pitch would not follow me. They'd be like, no way. There it is. That makes sense. Someone with perfect pitch would be like me when I was a child, when my parents took me to see Jurassic Park 2. And like the first scene, there's this little girl who's uh, like, Clearly something horrible was going to happen. There was like a little dinosaur. She's like, hi. And then there was like five little dinosaurs. She's like, oh, hey. And she gets nervous. And then there's like freaking 30 tiny dinosaurs. And I knew something bad was going to happen. So little child Joe got up in the movie theater. And I said, I'm out of here. And I left. <laughs> and my mom chased me. And we went to TGI Fridays where we met a magician who then performed at my birthday party and he definitely hated children. That's the end of this story time. Here's a loop for you by a band called Fastball. All that's true, by the way. Kind of a, a weird thing to be a magician who hates children. I don't know if the, he was just hoping to be like an adult magician performer. Cock. 
cocktail, thank you for the follow. I screwed up in the beginning with my tempo anyway. One, two. Thank you. That guitar is still out of tune. That's so ear bloody. I'll like fade it once I get the piano. <laughs> Ooh. Whatever. That's not a piano sound. That's a piano sound. it an octave higher anyway. One note is gonna drive me insane. Let me fix it. Sorry. This loop's a little, little funny, but you know, I'm improvising it as I go, so sorry it's kind of wonky. Let's add strings.
Sometimes I feel like I'm drunk behind the wheel The wheel of possibilities, however it may roll Give it a spin, see if you can somehow factor in You know there's always more than one way to say exactly what you mean to say Was I out of my head? Was I out of my mind? How could I have ever been so blind? I was waiting for an indication It was hard to find Don't matter what I say, only what I do I never mean to do bad things to you So quiet, but I finally woke up If you say Then it's time you spoke up to This is a loop. Um, so, back up, Joe's chill. This is a loop that uh, I've never planned anything for. I kind of want to sit down with it tonight, even, and just work on like getting a really pretty piano line kind of settled. 
quick and less clunky. I've been practicing piano with your guys' encouragement. So like, you know, just like. But more like voice leading and just movement. nicer things. What chord is that, E? I want to, like, make a really pretty violin line for that, I mean, a piano part. I think what I should do is just record the guitar and the looper and just go a couple passes with the piano until I find something I'm comfortable with. For other musicians in chat, oh my god, these quotes are wild. Uh, <laughs> I like the, oh my god, please don't quote that. For anyone who's curious about, like, I guess how I've been practicing and different strategies I've had, um, I've been trying to, especially with pianos, I really, I haven't had a lot of experience on piano. I'll look up, um, bye Black Shadow, you are so sweet. You're making me blush. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you for the follow again. Uh, and we had more follows, thank you guys, for Cocktail, um, Ulrich, Milf Hunter, <laughs> Kickot, or Clickot. Thank you guys so much, thank you. Um, so, one of my strategies for attacking the piano was uh, just something as simple as finding various YouTube covers where, for this song, for example, I'll probably search later, out of my, uh, out of my head piano cover. And I'm just gonna watch a bunch of different people's versions of it. And, you know, what usually happens is I pick up something like, let's say someone starts with just playing the melody. I just look at what they'll do and if I hear something that I think is nice then I'll figure it out by ear and kind of piece together from a bunch of different performances what sounds nice to me and then make a couple little adjustments myself along the way so that's how I have learned you know that's how I did Old Town for Old Town I just found a piano performance I really liked and I looked at their hand and studied it part I really liked, except the last note. <laughs> yeah, I lost it, but point being, um, when you're trying to learn something new, I can't stress enough, watch and find other people who do it and just take note of little things that you like. And instead of being intimidated by the whole performance, I would just focus on one thing I really liked. Uh, so for this one, I just focused on learning the left hand, the bass line. And I did that a couple times. Shoot. And then I looked in the other hand and I knew it was just going beep boop, beep boop, beep boop. So I figured out the chords. boop to them. That's a 
G chord, so I have to play a G in the left hand. And I liked this line so much, I wanted to learn it exactly. So I just really listened to the performance a few times. It's pretty. And this part's really simple, so I just took the chords and I clunk them out, kind of. I gotta practice that one with a metronome. So I've been writing down all of my loops in my notebook today, whether I want them to stay the same or if I wanna change something. I've only kept one as staying the same, so that's that means I got some homework, but hey, I like homework. Is I'm cool. So for out of my head, I want to prioritize a pre-record easy guitar, like a not distracting guitar, and write a lead piano account. I'm excited, you guys. I, I, I'm glad I actually did this today. I wasn't planning on doing this. Today has been very much like a practice stream, I guess. So I hope uh, it hasn't bummed anybody out. But again, I just, I have a vision for how I want this channel to be in the next few months. And I want all these loops to just be so clean and fast and reliable. And for people who like seeing the awkward building process, you're gonna keep seeing it, so I'm gonna add more loops to it. But before I do that, I wanna know that like, if I get a big raid or something or a front page opportunity, I can just like do it, you know? I can just be like pulling out these wonderful arrangements, but I've been having to try them first and really actively think about what I need to change. So I feel like I have some nice notes here for some. Yeah. Anyway. Why don't we do an instrumental loop? For B-Dime, that makes me really happy to hear. Thank you for spending a uh, a lot, some of your guys uh, lurk time with me. I know a lot of you guys keep me on while you're uh, getting through your work day. You got this. I believe in you. Keep it going. You're doing great. I can do the Outer Wilds theme. It's been a long time since I've done that. That will be nice to revisit. Uriel, you're so smart. You keep your work computer on while you're watching stream. Shh, Jove. Shh. I guess I was the one that shouldn't have said it out loud. Oh, sorry, I misread that. I barely pay attention to your trash stream, Joe, because I'm focused on work. Now, turn down the volume. Those idiots, they'll never. All right, this one, hey Reverb, I do from scratch, so I'm going to set up my Soundbrenner metronome. I think I'm going to learn this one for stream too, it's so pretty, open country. Writing all these down are making me motivated. 
Outer Wilds, okay. Guitar. Here we are. Andrew. Ah! I miss you, Andrew. Since it's like hot out, we should do a, some sort of porch hang at my house and we can cook food or something. to get to the bottom of this friggin' tuning situation. This is the determined I need to tune my guitar correctly for once music. Nah, what am I doing? Poops and boobs! Oh my god! Thank you so much for the follow. Your name is such a a bold statement and I'm all about it. If you know what I mean. Thanks for the follow poops and boobs. I'm tempted to just VIP you right now. That is true, Daniel. Poops and boobs. What keys is in? Poops and boobs. Poops and boobs. Poops and boobs. This is so stupid. I'll play that song with the fiddle later. You guys actually know how to play it. And and you guys can sing poops and boobs along with it at home. I'll do like a, a tutorial of when to say poops and boobs. Okay. Outer Wilds. This needs to be like chill. Gotta get that one on Spotify. <laughs> boobs and boobs. I liked to, it best when I said it like at the end of the phrase, like dun 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 Poops and boobs. Like going into the next part. All right. Is my mom here? Yes. Sorry, Mom. I read a name. I'm sorry. It's not my fault. Ooh. I'm gonna get grounded. All right. Oh, this is wicked slow. We want to go back up to like 80. Why can't I decide on a tempo? Maybe 100? Split the difference, 94. That's it. All right, cool.
that one note I bent and it's so out of tune. We gotta fix that. <laughs> Take two. kick drum in there.
okay this is a loop where i want to purposely not touch it like i don't really want to mess with it i kind of just want to always have it as an open template because it's pretty short and it comes together pretty fast so i feel like it doesn't need me to like mess with it too much sometimes when you mess with it too much it kind of loses its 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 point you know I think what I'd like to do next is Endless World. I tried to do this a couple streams ago and it didn't come together and I was super sad. <laughs> I'm having a hard time getting, it's a, it's an offbeat rhythm that happens halfway through and I naturally want to speed it up so badly, but I shouldn't. Admittedly, though, I learned a way that I'm going to cheat. I feel like I, I have to be honest before I even do it. Uh, when I plug in the piano, the mic doesn't pick up the recording, this one. So I'm going to keep the click on for this. I'm going to practice to make sure it's not, but uh, I, I just I'm having such a hard time with it. I'm going to get it to a point where I don't need an audible click, but yeah. See, you can't hear me. So I'm going to cheat. Bye. I hit yeah that last chord i can't let that slide that was pretty bad also vip butley poopington how are you my darling butley poopington i love you butley poopington butley poopington
voila. But do you see what I mean? I feel like it does need a, almost a second tempo for the second part. I want it to be a bit like more faster and chipper, but I'm just happy that I can now play this song because I really love this song. Uh, let's start with violin, I guess.
I wish I made that faster. <laughs> it was wicked slow. But hey, I hadn't done that one in a long time, so it was nice to be able to like get back into it. Are you being facetious, pencils? How dare you? Um, Tyler Durden, Never Die, and uh, German Set. Uh, thank you very much for the followers, you guys. I really appreciate it. Welcome, QWT. How are you? Absolutely f facetious. Wonderful. Love it. Well, I think what I'm going to do is uh, take one last break because I have a little more coffee in the pot downstairs and then play until I am done drinking coffee, if that sounds good for y'all. I really, really appreciate everyone just let me kind of do my thing today. Oh, when I come back, let's do that fiddle tune that I was doing, uh, hauling after Perluf. <laughs> it's a Swedish name, but it's a it's a really beautiful song, and it's super fun. So I will be right back. Just gonna take a quick break. Let's go back to the happier stuff. Yeah, this works.
My cat, Blue, is very convinced that it is his dinner time. <coughs> but his dinner time's in two hours. And I felt so bad, just like, <laughs> he's screaming at my feet and chasing me around. And I go to, you know, come back into this room. And I just look at him, and I'm like, two hours, bud, two hours. And he just stood there with his big eyes looking at me. And I was like, aww. <laughs> Poor thing. The poor thing. Let's see. All right, I was going to do a fiddle tune, so let me grab that. Oh, MJ, I can do as you as you as you ain't my baby. Let's do that now. We made sure to wait for you. I haven't done this one for a while, so I might make some mistakes, but I'll do my best. Alright. Guitar. Could have done a more like chill fade out than that. Oopsie. Right. Boop. Beep. Bop. See, I haven't done this for a bit. Give it a go. Might be a, a little rough around the edges. <laughs> I've got a guy who's always late every time we have a date, but I love him. Yes, I love him I'm gonna walk up to his gate See if I can get this straight Because I want him I'm gonna ask him Is you, is or is you ain't my baby The way you're acting lately makes me doubt on my spit. Now a man is a creature that has always been strange. Just when you're sure of a one you found when she's gone and made a change. So is you, is you, is you a found somebody new that do or is my baby still my baby true well do you know or is my baby still my baby true oh 
Oh shoot, I should have just ended on a C. I butchered that. Is my baby still my baby? True. They love that C9 in jazz. That's pretty nice. That's fun. I feel like that song I could make into a loop, but I feel like instead I kind of, like I almost want to learn a very like impressive, fun finger picking style guitar method for it. Kind of like how I said for uh, excuse me for um, words are so hard. For that Pirates of the Caribbean song, like maybe I was just going to do a double stop version. I guess I should write these down. Is you it, so is you a my baby. I've been writing down all day different versions that I want to play my, uh, my repertoire as. So let's see, Pirates, Caribbean. Pirates OC, double stops. And for Is You Is, fancy guitar. I think that's how I'll just write it. Fancy guitar lead. There we go. That will help. Cool. Well, let's get some energy going. I was about to do that fiddle tune. And then I'll probably just play a couple more tunes and call it. I got some pizza. I was going to film my next YouTube video, but I have a pimple and I don't want to have a pimple in my thing. And I popped it. I know I shouldn't pop it, but I, ugh, it was bothering me. And I, so I don't know. <laughs> Just film it from the side. The whole thing though, I feel like, I feel like if I'm adapting, filming the video, I don't know. Put a band-aid on it, no one will know. <laughs> I know, I don't believe in hiding with foundation. Not that I don't like morally stand by it. I don't think it's possible. You guys can barely see it as I film on this side of my face all the time. Look at it. Look at it. Well, I'm just not that good at makeup. <laughs> All right, we're going to do this really cool fiddle tune. Yeah, you see it. I know you do. Because it's there. And big and gross. All right, let's do it. hereby. How are you? Thank you. 
That one's another good one that would be a really fun loop for me to put together. Um, oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, I did talk about Requiem for a Dream a lot when I did this. Oh, yeah, that was the... Yeah, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah, I feel like it might be worth just doing a track with like just the guitar. And I want to get those double stops a bit cleaner. And I feel like... Um, I know I like the track too. Maybe I just need to polish up my like double stops with it and then I'll feel better with it. That might be the move. <laughs> I feel like if I'm doing that one, I should keep rolling with my fiddle inspired pieces, like the video game ones. So why don't we do, um, okay, here's a good plan, I think. We're going to do a settlement in the Red Bluffs and then finish it today with a downstream from Braid. I think that seems like a, a, a good flow, right? And then I'm going to eat my leftover pizza and figure out if I'm recording tonight or not. I know I'm being probably so annoying not wanting to do it with this pimple on my face, but uh, I don't know. It feels weird to film something and purposely hide a part of my face because I'm embarrassed about it. <laughs> it would be nice to get done, though. I don't know. Anyway. This is always just so fun. <laughs> I really like it. Alrighty, y'all. So we're moving into our last song, which means we need to talk about who we're raiding. Take a looky loo. Take a looky loo. See what's going on. Hey, by the way, I saw that two people purchased a Soundbrenner metronomes. Uh, so if I, anyone here did that, thank you. And please feel free to message me about any questions you might have about it. It's warming my heart to know I'm spreading the word of good practice etiquette. It makes me really happy. So, 
Um, I hope whoever is using uh, these codes are enjoying the products that they're getting and finding good use of them. And uh, again, if you are having any difficulty or anything with just getting started, please feel free to message me and I can give you some advice. Um, okay, I'm just taking a peek to see who is on right now. As always, we got like so many people. Uh, doot doot. Oh, I just did an Alana doot doot without even realizing. Why don't we get a It's Chappin? I feel like I haven't gotten them. I don't know if I've ever actually gotten It's Chappin. I do love Rame as well. Um, Moshing Deer and Joe, Joe Biden. <laughs> uh, thank you for the follow. The official Mr. President is here. <laughs> Let's see, Mr. President. It's very nice to have you. Let's do downstream. This one warms my heart because, uh, I learned it years ago before I started streaming I just always really liked the song, and uh, it's one that I transcribed um, exclusively for myself because I just thought it was so pretty and I wanted to play it. But it comes full circle because by the time I learned it on stream, um, I decided to learn the ending part. I didn't learn the ending before because it was too hard for me. Um, but with you guys, I'd gotten a lot better, and I learned and got stronger, so I was able to actually do it. So it's a kind of a nice little tie together of uh, my journey here. I'm so embarrassed I said poop boobs in front of my mom so many times. I hope uh, we don't talk about that ever. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and I'm seeing them this weekend. Oh, I'm going to crack under pressure and be like, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. You know, it, it happens. It's uh, just the casualties of being streamers that you might say poop boobs a lot in front of your mom.
that piece has been so satisfying to like see the slow but sure progress of it and the confidence and I feel like my Irish trills are getting a bit stronger and yeah it's fun all right y'all it's about that time we're gonna be rating the wonderfully talented gorgeous soul that is it's Chapin you guys are gonna absolutely love them I love their voice uh, I'm actually going to be doing a stream tomorrow. I don't usually stream on Wednesdays, but I'm taking Friday off to travel home to see my family and my nephews. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to be, let's see, when will I be live tomorrow? Maybe like five. I think five sounds nice. Mm. 5 p.m. And I'll film the thing tonight. I don't want to film the thing tonight, but I should film the thing. I'll film the thing and hide my acne. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, I'm going to give those boys the biggest hugs. Cool. Um, once again, everybody, thank you so much for giving me a place to do my favorite thing in the world and uh, letting me pursue this full time and encouraging me uh i i really am excited and motivated to take all these notes i took down today and apply them the notes you heard today are going to be played better next time i promise and uh i hope you have a wonderful rest of your evening thank you again and i'll be here whenever you want a song i love you guys <laughs>